Hello, lads. A decision making has happened. Okay, let me elaborate. So, a while back, some of you will have seen me make a YouTube short asking whether I should turn my Billy into a Thomas or whether you guys liked it as Billy. You guys liked it as Billy. So I said, no, I'm going to make it Thomas. And that is exactly what I'm doing this weekend. I'm super stressed because it was just the first week back to school and I just need a little relief project. And I think, what better time to build up the courage to paint over my second ever engine? I think it was at about this point in editing the video that I just thought, this is really dragging on a bit. So I've decided to cut down all the massive clips of me talking for ages and ages and just show you what you need to see. So starting off with taking apart Billy on the painting tray and getting ready to paint his body. Originally I had the idea of putting masking tape over the wheels and over the motor, but I eventually scrapped that and just decided to be careful. <laughs> Anyways, I then made the decision to first paint Billy white because I thought that the green would mess up the colour of the blue, and if I put white on first as a bit of a canvas, then it would stop the green from showing through and really help the blue to pop. So I kept on going with that and managed to cover the entirety of the green. I then came back the next day once the paint had dried to add on the blue. It was at this moment that I decided that I was going to leave the wheels black as my own touch to the livery, and the rods red, because one, I can't be bothered to work out how to paint them without locking them up, because I'm scared that I'll do that. And two, I think the red will really complement Thomas's lining once I get that on there. So yeah. After finishing the blue and putting Billy next to a window to help him dry out better, I took my leave to a nearby seaside town, where I found this. Okay, this place though. They've got a BR Black Manor. They've got a cheap Batman Thomas looking thing, which basically just sort of defies the point of my custom. And they've got railway series books. What more could you want? Alright, back to work with Billy, who had dried nicely and was ready for some lining. Okay, all done. Thomas's lining is looking really good. I was surprised at my result. Basically, the plan with the lining is that I'm going to paint blue over the bits that I don't need rather than being super precise with the red which is just something that realistically I don't think I can manage. So yeah, let's see how that goes I think. Rothery Industries duties as Thomas are finally over. For years now she's been an inaccurate replacement for the little blue tank engine. But no more will her duties be untrue. As now Thomas has stalled. Oh, We've got a Thomas! I am very happy with this model. Probably I'll be printing off a face or drawing one myself until I can get a like 3D one. Whether that'll be from a toy or ordered online, I don't know. One way or another, I really think this guy needs a face and his iconic number one. I plan to get that from Fox Transfers and order it in O gauge size, just like the Unlucky Tug did, to get it to be perfect size for Thomas. And yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed watching me make my own Thomas. I feel like because I made this guy, I'm going to be more proud of him and maybe use him a bit more. 
So yeah, look forward to seeing more of him on the channel, and thank you for watching, I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye!